Steve, Patrick Murray, Forbes Sports. Uh, just wondering, Andrew Wiggins' defense has been um, kind of a bit of a story in, in the in the first part of this season. What do you think is behind the kind of improvement that he's shown from his previous uh, his previous stops? Well, I, I, I'm not sure he didn't play good defense in Minnesota. It's just nobody noticed. You know, I think um, the fact that he's here now, um, this team gets a lot more um, notoriety. We're on TV more often. Uh, so now people are recognizing some of the statistical um, accomplishments that Andrew has um, put forth here in the early going of the season in terms of shot challenges and block shots. Uh, I think he was number one in the league and out of every player in uh, in shot challenges going into the Denver game and maybe fifth in the league in blocks, I believe. So, um, you know, we made, a pro- made it a priority in the offseason. We talked to him about potentially, you know, being an all-defensive team uh, player um, knowing the way our team is structured uh, you know we need him to do what what uh, Andre did for us for years what Clay has done over the years you know take on the other team's best players and and uh, use your strength and athleticism and length to uh, to try to make an impact and I think he's responded really well to that request on the all team all defensive team and Looney had said earlier that uh, he talked about that as well. So is that something that um, Andrew has as a personal goal or you you guys talk to him as a team about in a group? We talked um, we talked as a team, you know, before our first day of practice. And one of the big messages was for Andrew and Kelly uh, to uh, to try to get on the all defensive team. We know Draymond will be there. Um, but if all three of those guys play at that level, the level of an all defensive team player, uh, we got a chance to be really good at that end. So definitely something we challenged those guys with. Thanks.